Developing now a mother and father in handcuffs accused of taking their kids along while they threw fireworks at a homeless man. That man is still in the intensive care unit nearly two weeks later now, badly burned. Danielle Tedesco was there as that couple went to jail. Danielle is live tonight near Quincy and Silver where the victim caught on fire. Danielle. Well, guys, we can even still see some of the evidence from that victim here, uh, the fire from the fireworks here on the sidewalk. Now, police say that man and woman threw a lit firework at him as he lay on the sidewalk. In surveillance video, we can see their car start to drive down the road here, but they stop. And an arrest warrant today gives some insight into why. But today in handcuffs, the couple told me a different story. Uh, do you have a message for his family? I just hope he gets through this okay and our prayers are with him. Was this a prank that went wrong? Yes. <laughs> you didn't mean to have No, he did not. Just, just trying to wake him up or what happened? Yes. Did you it know was, that you set him on fire? No. When did you find out? I just to scare him. Why would you do that? I didn't do it. Who did it? 31-year-old Irene Enriquez wouldn't answer that question, but according to their arrest warrants, the father of her children, Joshua Benavidez, is accused of throwing the lit firework at a homeless man who was sleeping on the street. When did you find out how badly he was hurt? Today. Today. And you turned yourself in today? According to the arrest warrant, the couple's own son tells a different story. In surveillance video, you can see the explosion. Their 10-year-old son told police that he, his 12-year-old stepbrother, and 2-year-old sister were all in that purple Tahoe. He told police his dad started to drive away after the fire, but noticed the victim's pants smoldering. You can see their SUV stop. The boy told police they watched the victim, quote, go back to sleep. And his mom wanted to get out of the SUV to put water on the man. But he says Benavidez wouldn't let her. Then it says they fled the scene. And that couple is charged with aggravated battery and three counts of child abuse because the kids were reportedly with them at the time. Sorry. I'm sorry to my family, to my family, to my children. I want to apologize to my children and my family and to the man that was hurt. It was just a prank. I was just trying to scare him. That was it. Now, the arrest warrant also states that once the media started posting pictures and videos of that distinct purple Tahoe, that tips really started rolling in. Neighbors even told police they saw Benavidez. They believed Benavidez painted that purple Tahoe white just a few days ago. Live near Quincy and Silver, Danielle Tedesco, KOB Eyewitness News 4.